off with the colors They kinda tell me what I'm thinking I fell in love with the way we are And the way we lose it There's something different about us And the reason why we stay Okay, we've been at the mall for, I don't know, two hours and we might have gone to test drive another Tesla for the fun of it. I'm here with Ashley and Abby and we're at the Apple store because she suddenly was like, I want to go buy an Apple watch because we ended up buying her Apple AirPods. And so she's like, I have money, so I think I want to go buy a watch. So she's just trying to like decide if she wants to do that. But this one's wanting to go eat yeah, and go to a play date. So we're trying to hurry. It's honestly kind of fun to like see your kids like, I don't know, succeed I guess, um, to the point where they can like buy their own Apple Watch. I don't know why that like makes me feel so good because Abby was just like, here's my card, send me the email receipt, like she has money and she's earned it and she's like, yeah, I thought about getting an Apple Watch, I think I'll do that today. I don't know, I'm just proud of her and she's like, it'll be really nice to have it. Um, while I'm working and I can like look at the time and because I think they can't have their watch or their phones with them while they're working so the watch will come in handy for her but we promised Ashley a pretzel and cheese sauce before we take her for a play date so we are running around here and um, they're already up there getting in line um, and uh, then we'll take her to a play date Jason and I might actually have fun plans tonight. I just kind of maybe connived a date into our evening. Okay, we just got home. He's gonna go for a run, yep, yep. right? And I'm gonna go work on the computer. I put earbuds in when I listened to my sister. This is my sister, Andy. <laughs> she had her one year anniversary for her wedding um, with her really? they husband. They married a year? Yeah, isn't that crazy? That was last summer. Shut up. Isn't that crazy? It feels, that feels like, like it's like three years ago. I know, and that it's, it's fun. Anyway, they just went out of town for their anniversary, and uh, uh, but when, <laughs> she just is a little blunt, and um, so I don't know what, ever, what she's gonna say, and I don't mind it, like she's just straightforward. She's kind of a straight shooter type person, um, but I have to make sure that <laughs> Children don't always hear what she has to say. Nothing like mean or anything like that. It's just she's a nurse and now almost a nurse practitioner. Oh, it's playing in my ear. Anyway, she thought Abby wasn't listening. I don't know what week and a half ago, week ago, when I was trying to give her all the all the um, symptoms that Abby was having for a UTI, and uh, she was like, "Oh, I think sometimes it feels like a really bad orgasm." And Abby was like, "I'm right here. I'm on the call. I can hear you." <laughs> my sister just is. It, anything physical, medical, it, it just, she doesn't mind saying it. <laughs> and I'm learning to be the same way with my girls and not having things be so faux pas to say and be able to talk about female things out loud. Um, but anyway, so I'm just gonna sit here and work on the computer. I might actually go and sit up in my, in my room for a little while. Kaylee just woke up, it's 3.30. Um, so Jacob just got here and he's like, wait, did you really just wake up? <laughs> Um, and you went to lunch with your brother? Yeah, it was super awesome. You went to Indian? Indian. Which is good. I don't terribly love, I actually don't like Indian food <laughs> at all. I like butter marsala, like butter chicken marsala or whatever. Tiki masala. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But like, that's the only one I like. I'm not a curry type person. So I love it when he goes to get food like that with his brothers. <laughs> Quick update on your brother. Can I tell him just like in general how he's doing? Sure, yeah. He's doing really better. good. It's like he hit the 40 day mark in the hospital. So he's been there. No, yeah, he's like over 40 days at this point. Sorry, Abby is texting me all these things that she wants me to order from Amazon. 43 she, days. He's been there for 43 days. 43 days. Yeah. So he hit like this. 38 day window of being in the hospital and like all of a sudden his body just and his mind I think a lot of it was his mind he kind of became more consciously aware of his situation and, and physically being able to like his organs started working he started being able to talk and communicate and it's like everything just clicked 
into place. His kidneys started functioning, his, so he's able to, been able to be off dialysis. His vocal cords are no longer paralyzed. They're still weak and he's still having to like do therapy for them, but he's doing much better with that. He was able to go outside twice this past week. In a wheelchair. In a wheelchair, not standing. He can't do any weight bearing on the one knee that is broken, not the knee is broken, the bone below it. But he just is making such good progress that he is likely headed to rehab tomorrow in rehab hospital uh, tomorrow. His sister is still there, Jason and their sister is still there from Virginia. She'll be there till Wednesday this week. I'm just helping to alleviate, alleviate the load that our, you know, the wife has to carry his brother's wife. Anyway, it's just, it's, it's such good news, but he's lost how many pounds? 37 pounds or something like that. He's like skin and bones. He has like no muscle mass. And so they really need to like, that's what he'll do in rehab is regain that muscle mass um, and be able to stand. He can't do any weight bearing on his right knee, his right leg. Um, but it means that like he might actually be out of rehab before we have a chance to go see him in California. So our trip is still pending. I think we may still go. Um, I don't know, but he might, he has it in his head. He's only going to stay in rehab for two weeks. And so he might just blow everyone out of the water and like get it done and get back to home here in Washington. He really wants to come home. And I think he's really excited to leave the hospital tomorrow. But anyway, just a quick update about him. He's doing really, really good, but he has a long road of recovery um, that we're hopefully gonna see him do at home because it's where he wants to be. But I'm gonna get working here at my desk and, oh, and then Jason and I are gonna go on a date. I, did, I alluded to that, but he was able to make reservations at Daniel's Broiler. Funny story about that, and I held him to it today. I don't know, when was it, like two or three weeks ago, I made a bet with him and, and I'm not gonna get political. I'm just gonna say that I made a bet with him that Trump would in fact be indicted on a specific day. And he was like, it's not gonna happen, it's not gonna happen. And I was like, no, I know exactly what day he's gonna, this is gonna happen. And he's like, I don't believe you. I don't believe you. Whether we want, he want, we wanted it to happen. I won't, I won't pretend. We wanted this to happen and it needs to happen for all the legal reasons. But he didn't believe me that it would actually come to fruition. So he bet a Daniel's broiler date night that it would happen or not. And, and <laughs> that he would take me out if it happened. Sure enough, that Thursday morning, beautiful day. It was a beautiful day. So we've been busy since then. And so I was like, hey, you need to own up to your end of the bargain. Right, Jace? You need to own up to your end of the bargain. Take me on a date. Oh, the bet? Mm-hmm. <laughs> He's he's realizing that I've become quite the little political news junkie. Junkie. Yeah, fair enough. And I get usually in the years past, um I've had he gets the information before I do. Um but and regardless of you being at work, you always had the information before me. Um but I am getting ahead of the game these days. And so I had the information ahead of time and he lost the bet and I, I get a, din a steak dinner. So I'm not gonna eat the rest of the day. <laughs> I want to fully savor that steak dinner tonight and it'll be really, really good. Okay, I got a little done up wearing a freaking sweater um, in June. Did you even bring a jacket? I did. It's oh, hard. okay. Yeah, I was gonna say, you're gonna need it. It is 58, no, it's percent of battery, 64 degrees. <laughs> I always look at, at the numbers. You know, um, it's cold. I have a sweater on. I do have like just a white t-shirt underneath in case I do get warm inside, but oh, it's so cold and it's so sad. It looks like in the 80s there. <laughs> we have better weather in um, April and May than yeah. we have now in the end of June. It stinks and the kids are like, great, this is summer, fantastic. We can't go to the lake, we can't get in any water. Grandpa's pool just opened up and we're like, yeah, no, that's not gonna happen. But we're gonna go on a date night to Daniel's Broiler. It's my favorite place for steaks. And um, he lost the bet. <laughs> so, you know, um, it is what it is. We all get the, the pleasure of <laughs> the, the, the It's a win-win. It's a win-win. It's a loss win. Yes. Yeah. But just, just my pride or my, what is it? My... Which is a lot. Oh, shut <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot. <laughs> um, but we'll uh, take you with us and um, we have a little bit of time to kill if traffic is good. Um, but otherwise, we'll just get right there on time for dinner. You guys, this man 
I'm setting up for a nice montage of us going on a date night. And uh, we got a great parking spot. Not even 30 seconds away from this door right here, from the elevator. But he said, ooh, 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 there's a spot right there. That's a perfect spot where no one can touch my car. So he's bringing his car over here. He's literally, like, it took us 30 seconds to walk to the door. But instead, he has to bring the car right here. You're kind of a dork. It's a little tight over here, but... Too bad. Make sure you don't ding the door. No, no. I won't ding it. You're kind of a dork. But I'm glad you love... Heidi says you shouldn't worry so much about this door. Or for this car. Who's She's just no, on the channel. <laughs> <laughs> she says, Jason worries about his car too much. Tell her you don't need to worry. It's a man thing. It is a man thing. Regardless of it being a Tesla, it is a man thing. and get our steps in for the night. It's still fresh and early. Um, Ashley still has school tomorrow. Everyone technically has school tomorrow, but Ashley's the only one going. <laughs> so I, do, I need to make sure she gets home and gets, or she's in bed. So we're not gonna stay out late, but it's still kind of fun to be out. Feels like a school night. Easy. 